Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I would be covering a new feature in Excel called Data Validation and with the list feature of Data Validation. It's a wonderful feature, wonderful feature can help you in reducing your time while entering a data, in reducing errors while entering a data and furthermore if you want to delegate this work to someone else to say a subordinate uh, to a peer or say just to anyone anyone at all in that case this becomes very very handy uh, this worksheet is called data validation with the list feature there would be other features also which I would be covering in my later videos so keep waiting and watching my other videos too the difficulty level of this is medium and let's uh, start working now let's take the example of a store say any 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 big store say big bazaar alright so these are the locations of big bazaar area 1 area 2 you can call them cities Delhi N Mumbai Agra Kanpur and these are the products name and these are the units sold alright so now you want to enter the units sold and the products sold product names over here so what you can do is you can create a custom list that only a specific products can be entered over here and only their units can be entered over here alright so that no errors can be made there should be a specific uh, list say for the electronic department I've created a value of list uh, products over here uh, a list of products over here TV fridge CD player LCD a desirable product PlayStations a wonderful desire uh, well, 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 very soon I'm gonna buy one, and that would be a PlayStation 3. <laughs> so, just joking, but I actually do want it. So, let's see when we want to enter product names. So, this list should automatically come over here as a drop down list. Alright, so we'll, we are going to accomplish that by clicking on the data ribbon data tab. Once we go to data tab, we have to click on data validation. Now on data validation we need to click data validation again and you see over here we click on in settings input message error alert I'll discuss later now what do you want to allow in this range say we want to allow a list now we enter a list choose ignore blank and choose in cell drop down see ignore blank what would happen say uh, if uh, for example if you happen to have made this list and there is a blank in between so it will ignore that blank and in cell drop down means it will show you this arrow over here and this kind of list so you'll be creating your custom drop down arrows won't it be wonderful that you'll be become a programmer yourself you can boost it around alright so now doing that we click on source that where is this list where is the source from where does Excel need to pick this, pick this data so we go to the source ensure you create a source beforehand all right so you select this source by uh, pressing on shift and selecting the down arrow press enter and oh, oh oh I made a mistake see I chose the list over here actually I had to do it over here we'll do it again we'll go to data we'll go to data validation data validation again any value no list and where is my source this is my source I click on enter and you see there it is TV fridge CD LCD PlayStation I choose PlayStation I can choose a TV so the things get faster alright and furthermore wonderful thing see now if somebody is typing LCD they might type uh, something next to L say KCD they might what happens it says a value have you entered is not valid a user has restricted values that can be entered into the cell see isn't it cool so now we can copy this list we'll do a control C and then we'll select the area to which the range to which we want to copy this we'll press right click of the mouse button we'll go to paste special once we get to go to paste special we click on validation and then we press OK and the list is copied to all these cells alright so there's one more thing I need to tell how to remove this list and how to edit it 
So I'll tell you that once I take you through my own personal commercial, the sheet uh, I think I, it's more of a it's more of an infomercial rather than a commercial. So I'll take you through my infomercial. Uh, this sheet that you're uh, seeing right now is available at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com. Yes, that's the URL uh, for free download. Once you can, you can download it, practice along, practice later, or just keep it along for future reference. Uh, and I'll take you to my website. Oh, uh, what did open? What did open? So this is my website. Let's type in the URL www.excelmadeeasy.wibbly.com. So here it is. Ah, looks cool, refreshing. I recently changed the layout. All right. So all you need to do is go to the training files and click on it you'll see uh, the list of training files available over there you can download one and if you click uh, here are my social networking icons you can click on to tweet share on Orkut follow in Facebook I certainly need more followers on Facebook because I've created a page they're not allowing me to use it freely until unless I have, I have 25 fans so I need those fans click on this please click on this alright now if you click on this thing it will take you to my YouTube channel where all my videos are stored see there it is you click on subscribe sign in or sign up so whenever I upload a new video you will be made aware of it through an email or a message as YouTube chooses I try to upload one video a day and here is the comment section do up provide your comments so I'll come to know what am I doing wrong or is there something right uh, just give in a comment I'll, I'll try to improve upon things all right now getting back to my work so I, I as I promised I'll to tell you how to remove a list and how to edit it so if you want to edit a list say if you want to add more things uh, we have a big we, we can add a microwave all right we can add a geezer no iron all right so now what we do we click on c click upon this where the list is we can choose the complete area all right where the list is available we go to data validation again data validation it will already show you the list being used once you click over there this thing gets stretched over here highlighted what you can do is you can scroll down and check the complete list and if you see what would happen microwave and iron got added the same is here all right now if you want to remove it there are multiple ways I'll tell you the simplest way people tell very very difficult things to do I'll tell you the simplest thing go to the home tab select the complete list area go to the home tab go to clear and clear all simple as that simple as that and the list would vanish away okay so this was it from today uh, don't miss to click on my social networking signs do 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 spread the word if you like it and yes there is this ask a question page if you have any question on Excel click on this page there is a form you need to fill just your name email address and your comments I'll try to revert back to you you can type in your question your suggestions or any problem you're facing I'll try to help you so that was it from today this is your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead Happy Axel Learning!